Dylan Derry actually is an, an Indigenous name, um, or the English interpretation of an Indigenous name understood as being sparkling waters from the Indigenous name of the, the area and the creek that went through it. There are a lot of variant spellings and um, and it seems to suggest that there were at least four ways that it was pronounced in the early days. So there was Jinandera, Jinandjinandera, Jinanderi, and Jinandjinanderi. A lot of landowners in Australia had these metal breastplates made for a friendly local Aboriginal man that they considered the, the king of the tribe or the chief of the tribe. And this, he was supposed to wear it around his neck and it may have given the name of the property owner. Apparently, there's a, a king plate that has John Langdon's name on it, but also the, this Aboriginal guy called Mickey, King of Gin and Gin and Dairy. Now, obviously, if you're going to inscribe it on metal, you'd want to get it very carefully. And also the surveyors, uh, in their reports and in their maps, they seem to be consistently spelling with dairy. A case could be made that the dairy forms were more authentic, but it seems that the settlers and their friends in the Canberra communities were calling it with the Dara pronunciation. From the numerous sites that we found around the West Belconnen area, it would appear that the focus was on the Moambidji River and the Jidendera Creek. The Falls area is of course important to the local Aboriginal community, as is the Moambidji River itself. The sites that are around the area range from scarred trees, rock shelters, isolated finds of a single artefact to large artefact scatters showing extensive occupation and exploitation of the river corridor. This particular area of, of Canberra, um, the earliest records are that um, a cottage was actually built after Charles Sturt, this explorer, was actually allocated some land in this area. And from our records that we can find out, the uh, Sturt's cottage dates from about 1850s. Calling the development Gin and Dairy is appropriate because it reflects back to the original traditional custodians of the area and ties in to the important landscape forms which are the basis of the, the development with the Jinandera Falls and the Murrumbidgee River Corridor.